Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 13th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. Today was partly sunny for most of the day and quite warm. The winds were light to moderate out of the southeast and it was able to hold off a lake breeze the entire day. Sometimes the wind was shifting around to the southwest and then later in the day it clouded over more as some light rain moved in. Kim and I were out early again today. Here we have a nice red songbird with a black wing. This is a scarlet tanager. Overnight non-raptor migration has been quite high recently and will be high again the next few weeks. And that usually translates into a strong morning flight. So let's go through some photos quickly and see if you can figure out the IDs. Here we have a songbird. It's kind of a yellowish tan underneath with a black face mask and a yellow tip to the tail. This is a cedar waxwing. Here we have a medium-sized bird. It's kind of brown overall, maybe some white highlights to the wings, and lighter below with some streaking, and a very thick bill. This is a female rose-breasted grosbeak. Here we have a woodpecker with black wings, except for the obvious white secondaries and a completely red head. This is the first red-headed woodpecker of the season, a nice adult. And don't confuse that species with this much more common species. It has more white speckling to the wings, and red only on top of the head. This is a red-bellied woodpecker. Here we have a bird that's mostly orange with a black head. This is a Baltimore Oriole. We had three of these small terns fly over. We see a relatively long tail. We see kind of a long, thin bill that's dark red and with a darker black tip to it. And if we look at the upper surface of the wing, it's pretty much an even gray color. No obvious difference between the inner and outer wing. This is a common tern. Here's a bird that looks like a three-color popsicle with a blue head, some reddish brown to the upper breast, and a white belly. This is an eastern bluebird. Despite this bird having blue in the name, from this angle we don't see very much blue at all. Maybe a little bit to the head, but overall it's light underneath. And we see that this bird is missing its tail. This is a blue jay, one of more than 6,000 that migrated by today. Here we have a warbler that's largely white underneath. We see maybe a black line that goes towards the eye and we see some chestnut coloration to the sides because this is a chestnut-sided warbler. Here we have another warbler with a white belly, but otherwise it has a lot of black and orange to it. This is a male American red start. Here we have a warbler that has some black to the top of the head, a white cheek, and then some black streaking on an otherwise white underside and white wing bars. This is a black pole warbler. Here we have a black bird that doesn't have any streaking. It's just solidly dark below, and we see a light-colored eye. And it doesn't have a huge tail like a grackle would show. Rather, this is a more standard-looking black bird. This is a rusty black bird. Here we have a flycatcher that's dark above and white below, and we can make out a little bit of a white tip to the tail. This is an eastern kingbird. Here we have a swallow that has a dark reddish face. We can maybe make out a little bit of a lighter colored forehead and an orange rump. This is a cliff swallow. Here we have another swallow, and this one has a lot of dirty brown to the upper breast area. This is a northern rough-winged swallow. And here we have another swallow. This one's quite large and kind of dirty looking underneath, maybe some purple to the top of the head because this is a purple martin. This is the female or juvenile type plumage, I'm not sure. And speaking of purple martins, here on the bottom we have a male purple martin that's chasing a sharp-shinned hawk. Speaking of sharp-shinned hawks, here we have another one. Note the long tail that's squared off because all of the tail feathers are about the same length. Note the relatively small head. And juvenile sharpies like this one usually have kind of thick blobby streaking underneath. We saw that blue jay without a tail earlier. We also had a turkey vulture with no tail. Here we have a small compact butio. We see relatively pointed wings. We see brown vertical streaking to the underside, and we see that it's molting its inner primaries. This is a very typical look of the juvenile broad-winged hawks that we're seeing right now. Here we have a large, lanky black and white raptor that's carrying a fish. This is an osprey. Here we have a large dark raptor and we see a white head on this bird. This is a bald eagle and it's not quite a full adult yet. We can see it still has a little bit of dark to the head and there's still a little bit of white to the underside that if it was a full adult it would not show. So this is probably like a fourth or fifth year type bird. 
Here we have another Beautio. On this bird, we see a dark belly band compared to the clean upper breast, and we see dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, but we don't have a bold trailing edge to the wing, and we don't have the red tail. So this is a juvenile, which is typical of the migrating red tails that we're seeing this time of year. Here we have a raptor that's kind of lanky overall, long, skinny, pointed wings, a long tail, a brown head with the face has a owl-like facial disc and pretty plain otherwise underneath. This is a juvenile northern harrier. The flight really picked up in the afternoon, although the birds were quite high and sometimes difficult to spot. But here we have a small kettle of broad-winged hawks, which are all of these smaller birds. And then we also have one turkey vulture mixed in. Here we have a classic adult bald eagle that gave us a nice look. When you're up late listening to nocturnal flight calls and then you have to turn around and get up at 5 a.m. to get out early for songbirds, this is what happens in the mid-afternoon. There was a lot of rain down south of us today, down through PA and farther south, but there was a stationary front near us that was keeping the rain pretty much to the south, but we did have a little bit of light rain move in around 4 o'clock that ended the count. Today, we had a total of 93 species. Last night before bed, I was listening to nocturnal flight calls and had black-billed cuckoo. And then today, we added one new species for the season, which was red-headed woodpecker, bringing us to a total of 191 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 322 turkey vultures, 13 ospreys. We had 70 bald eagles, pushing us past 1,000 bald eagles for the season. We had 24 northern harriers, 53 sharp-shinned hawks, and two cooper's hawks. For Budios, we had 351 broad-winged hawks and 36 red-tailed hawks. And we had one American kestrel for a total of 872 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 6,529 and the season total to 84,787. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for cloudy skies with a slight chance of a rain shower and a high around 70. Winds will be southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, so that's our best wind direction and that's a really good speed. That should hold off any lake breeze and that direction and speed tends to keep the raptors down lower. In addition, the non-raptor migration should be high overnight, so there could be some new species around in the morning, and there could be a decent non-raptor morning flight, and then it should be a pretty good day at the Hawk Watch as long as the skies aren't too gloomy, but looking forward to another good day tomorrow. For Thursday, they're calling for mostly cloudy skies with a high around 73, and southerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. I'd expect moderate migration. And for Friday, rain showers in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a high in the mid-70s, and south winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we'll keep an eye on that to see what the rain ends up doing. All right, another great day out at Derby Hill with a lot of great songbirds around, a decent raptor flight, and a lot of nice visitors and great conversation. Hope you can join us soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.